my name is Marina, I'm from Oregon, and today we're going to be doing a wiring installation on this Honda HRV. If you're towing a trailer at all, it is required by law that you need trailer lights so that your vehicle can communicate its turn signals and brake lights back to the trailer so everyone knows what's going on. So we're going to install that circuit today so that this HRV is ready for towing. Let's get started. You will need the tool seam here to complete this installation. For this wiring installation, our kit has four attachment points. They're going to be connected to a connector on the driver's side here behind this panel. On the passenger side, we'll put in a ground wire to chassis ground, and then we're going to run a power wire from the rear of the vehicle up to the battery. So we have a few pieces we need to remove. We've got this rubber floor cover here we're going to take out. So next we're going to remove this floor, plan floor panel here. Um, you'll need a Phillips screwdriver and a flathead screwdriver. As you see in here, there's these little metal clips. We're gonna flip those up, stick your flathead into the end there. You'll feel a notch. And that panel will pop up to reveal the Phillips screw that we can remove now. So just remove that screw. And this piece will come right out. We'll repeat this on the passenger side. And now that those two are removed, this floor panel will lift right out. We're going to remove this foam roadside kit holder. And now we can access the panels that we need to remove. So on this vehicle, we're going to remove this lower trim panel here. Just by lifting up, we have four clips beneath this. There's two on this side and two on this side. So if we just lift straight up, that'll come right out. So next we're gonna get this interior panel out of the way. I'm gonna use a few trim removal tools here. We're just gonna stick it between this trim panel and separate it from the door here. Just work your way along so you can get your hand in there. And this will start to pop right out. There we go. Our panel removed enough to access this connector. We're going to just unplug it from the top. There's a little tab here we're going to press in and this piece will come right out and we can plug our wires into that. This is our wiring kit. Uh, this red, yellow, and brown connector is going to go on the driver's side here. This green one we'll use in just a minute to get to the passenger side, but for now we're just going to set that down, bring our connector over. We're going to plug in the connector we just disconnected into our wiring kit connector. And now we're going to plug this one up into the top. And click that right into place. Next we're going to attach this white wire. This is our ground wire. I have an electric drill with a self-tapping screw in here that we're going to use to secure the wire to the body of the vehicle here. We're going to just pull to separate to give us a little more length to work with. And we have a nice flat area here we're going to use. I've checked there's nothing behind here that we're going to mess with. So I have my drill in place and we're ready to secure this ground wire. Make sure that's nice and tight. You don't want that going anywhere. And now we're ready to move on to the next step and get our passenger side wire secured. Okay. We're now ready to remove our passenger side interior panel. It's going to be the same as we did on the driver's side. We're going to use our interior trim removal tool. Tuck it between this door panel and the weather stripping. You can separate these two panels and just fold this out of the way. 
Here's our green wire that's attached to our circuit. We've got our connectors here, and we're gonna plug them into this connector. It disconnects just like the one on the driver's side. So we'll just push in that tab, lift that connector up, and now it's ready to be plugged into our harness here. Everything's clicked into place. This wire is gonna be behind our interior side panel here and between this lower panel that we removed earlier. We'll come back to get that tucked in, but now we're gonna start prepping our power wire to run from the rear of the vehicle up front to the battery. So now we're ready to plan our route for the power wire from the rear of the vehicle up to the battery. Uh, we checked in the battery is on the driver's side, so what we're going to do is try and stay on that side as much as we can just to have a nice, clear, clean path. Every vehicle is going to be a little bit different and you can route your wire however you like. I usually like to try, try and stay near the brake lines because they tend to come up right by the battery where that reservoir is that holds the brake fluid. Um, but Really what you want to do is make sure that you're staying away from any moving parts, anything that's hot. You need to make sure that wire is going to stay safe and clean. So as you see under this vehicle, it's a little bit different. We have a lot of covers protecting pretty much everything under the vehicle. So before we can even decide how we're going to go, we need to get under there and get under that panel and see what path we can take to get up to the battery. So as I'm looking at this, I really don't want to have to take that entire cover off for the underside of this vehicle. So I'm just going to get under there, kind of lower this side on the driver's side since that's how I usually take it. And we'll just see what's under there, see if that's a good way that we can go. Um, I checked under there, it looks like all we're going to need is a flat head and a 10 millimeter. So let's get that panel lowered just a little bit and see what's going on and see if it's going to be a good way to go. We've got a lot of plastic clips on this vehicle. Uh, you just pop it up with the screwdriver like that and it'll pull right out. Now we got most of the fasteners off of this cover removed and we can get on the side of it, pull it down past the side skirt there and we can take a look and see what's going on. So now that we can pull this cover down a little bit, we can see our brake lines right here and we can see they go all the way up to the front. That's going to give us a nice, clear, safe and dry path up to our battery. So we're gonna run our power wire along those lines. We can secure it right along the line as we work towards the front. 
and then we'll be all set. So we have several plugs here that we could use. Uh, we've gone and determined that this one right here is the one that we're going to use to route our wire. It's got a nice clear path. I really like how it's going to look. So we're going to just pop that plug out. And now that we have it removed, we're going to drill a hole through it so that we can keep that nice seal that this has, but it'll give us just enough room to fit that wire through so we can get it up to the battery. So I've got our plug and a pair of vice grips here just to hold it nice and secure. I've got my drill and we're just going to drill a hole straight through the center of that plug. Alright, we're all the way through. Now we have space to run our wire through that plug. And we can go ahead and get that inserted in the rear of the vehicle. Right. Hole drilled through our plug here. Um, it's almost ready for us to run that wire through, but what I'm going to do first is use our provided power wire, and I'm going to get that connected to the power wire on our converter box here. Uh, this one comes pre-stripped already, so that one's all set and ready to go. But we do need to strip just a little bit off the end of our power wire here. So we have our long power wire here. I just stripped the end of it off. We have just enough length to insert it into our butt connector. So we'll get that in. I've got my wire crimpers here. Now we're just gonna squeeze with the crimpers nice and tight. And I'm gonna give it a tug just to make sure it's secure. It's not going anywhere. Now we're going to connect this to our already stripped power wire on our converter box. And we'll do exactly the same thing that we did with the longer wire. I'm holding the wire in place in my left hand just to make sure it doesn't slip out so that we'll have a good connection. Squeeze nice and tight there. And again, give it a good tug, make sure that's secure. And now we know it's not going anywhere. Now I'm gonna take the other end of this long power wire. I'm gonna insert it through this grommet. It's the perfect size for that. And now we're ready to insert it through here. And we'll see in just a moment where we're exiting the vehicle down into the exterior. Once I have the wire pulled all the way through, which I'm gonna do from beneath the vehicle, we'll get this seated. So now I'm just guiding the wire through to pull the whole length out of the vehicle from where it currently is in the trunk so that we'll have enough length to route it up to the battery. And we're just gonna guide the whole length of the wire so that we don't have too much excess hanging out up inside the vehicle. So we're using the hole that was cut for this hitch installation to help us install this wire. It's giving us a nice window to see what we're doing. So now that I have all of the length out on the outside of the vehicle, I'm pushing it through and we're bringing it down on the other side of this cover. So I'm going to pull the rest of the length through this plastic panel here. This is right along the frame. There's nothing that moves underneath here. It's a nice safe place to take this wire. Okay. So now I have the whole length of my wire on the back. It's not stuck in this cover anymore. We're gonna go right through this channel that's underneath the mount for our spare tire inside the vehicle there. So I'm gonna take the end of my wire and we're going to feed it right through here. I have my hand on the other side. I already found the wire. And we're just going to pull it all the way through. This is going to keep us away from this spring here, which you definitely want to stay away from as you're routing this wire. I'm just going to feed the entire length of the wire through this mount here. tight fit. It's right along that frame. This bracket is keeping it secure in place and we're ready to find another place just up ahead to secure the rest of this wire. So now we're starting to route our wire closer to this cover here towards the front of the vehicle. We're going to go over these lines here. 
and I'm seeing where the brake line is starting to come forward. That's where I'm gonna put a zip tie in just a moment, but I'm gonna pull the rest of the length through so that I can get that secured properly. We're making sure we're going over this cross member here. We're away from anything that's gonna damage this wire. And this is gonna be a nice clean path. It'll join these other lines here. Perfect, so now I'm going to place a zip tie right here to this brake line to get that secure and then we'll start routing it through under this cover up here. Perfect, so now I have my zip tie on there. My wire is nice and secured up to this point where we meet this cover. And now we're gonna pull this down just a little bit. We're gonna route this wire above this bar here so that it's not gonna get in the way because that's where our brake lines are going. You can see the path starting right here and they're gonna go right alongside the vehicle. It's gonna be the perfect path for our power wire up to the battery. Okay, so we have one more thing we're gonna go over before we start going underneath this panel. We're just gonna go above this bar here. So we're just going to slide that there and pull it all the way through. Now all the wire is completely in front of this bar here and we're ready to start we're ready to start our path along the brake lines right here. So we've already gone ahead and secured this wire all the way up to the front of this cover here. You can see that we followed the brake line all the way up along this path and I'm just going to go ahead with these cutters and just clean up these zip ties here by removing the ends so that if this cover ever comes off it'll still look nice. So you can see we stopped right at the base of the firewall here. We're just going to follow these brake lines up to the top of the engine compartment. What we're going to do is run a wire from the top down below, secure it to the end of our wire here, and pull the end of it up so that we can get it connected to the battery. So we're going to use this gray wire just as a tool to attach to our black positive wire that's currently on the underside of the vehicle. We are going to send it down below the brake reservoir here so that we can get all the way through to the bottom of the vehicle. And then that's where we will just tape our black wire to this and we can use it to pull our wire all the way up so we can get it connected to the battery. So we've routed our wire from the top of the engine compartment. I'm just gonna pull it down. We're gonna get some tape and secure it to the end of our power wire here so that we can bring the end of the wire up to the top and get it to the battery. So now we have our wire secured to the one tool that we're going to use to pull this up through. And so we'll go up top and take a look at what is going on up there. So we're up in the engine compartment now. We have our gray wire that we're using to pull our long power wire up through the engine compartment. And we're going to connect it to the positive terminal on the battery. This one's just covered by this plastic piece. We'll just lift up on it and we've already got some nuts on there that we can use to secure our eye hook when we're ready to do that. But first we need to get our wire into our hands. Now we found the end of it and we just have to pull the rest of the slack up through. So now I'm just going to remove our wire from our gray wire tool here. So we don't need quite as much length as we have. And the path I'm going to take to get to this positive battery terminal is actually just going to be following this wire harness here. I want to stay away from this side because we have an engine or a transaxle mount underneath here. That's something that can move around and we don't want this wire getting caught over there. So we're just going to bring it around this box here. This is nice and safe. We already have other wires in this area so we know it's okay. I'm going to bring it around the front of the battery here. We'll tidy this up in just a moment. 
and now we've got it close enough to our battery terminal that we can start prepping our fuse holder here. So now that we have our power wire up here in the engine compartment ready, we're going to start prepping our fusible link to attach to the positive battery terminal. We've already removed that plastic cover. I'm going to use this nut here, which is nice and convenient, so that we can attach our wire. If you're a little squeamish working with electricity, um, before you start messing with the battery, you can disconnect the negative cable. I've done this a few times, so all I'm doing is just making sure I don't touch both at the same time. Our fusible link is going to run from here over to our black wire on the side here. It's already pre-stripped, we just have to pop the end of it off there and it'll be ready to crimp to our eyelet. So we'll just go ahead and do that real quick. Using our crimpers, I'm holding the wire in, putting a little bit of pressure just to make sure it's making full contact with the metal inside of this connector. Make sure that's nice and tight. And give it a good tug to make sure it's secure on there. It's not going anywhere. So now we can place this right onto our positive terminal there and secure that nut. nice and tight so we have a good connection. If anything's loose in your circuit, it can lead to some electrical problems, so you always want to make sure everything's nice and secure. And we're going to reach to the other end of our fuse holder here, remove the end of that pre-stripped terminal. And now we're going to find the right length for our black wire to meet this red wire here. So I think it's going to look Great if we cut it right about here. Make sure you hold on to it so you don't lose it. You can discard the remaining wire. And we're going to strip just enough off the end of that wire. And I am working close to the battery, so if you're doing this, just make sure that you are not touching both terminals at the same time. Perfect, now we have enough wire exposed and we just need a butt connector to connect these two wires together. So I have my butt connector in hand here. I'm gonna start with this black wire just because I do have a little less length to work with. So I wanna make sure I get that secured first. So I have my butt connector in place and I'm just gonna go ahead and crimp it so it gets a nice firm hold on that wire. And again, just be careful around these battery terminals. Give it a good tug to make sure it's not going anywhere. And now we're going to crimp the red wire into the butt connector. Double check it there, it's perfect. Now our circuit is complete. As soon as we put this fuse in, this kit uses a 10 amp fuse in this fuse holder. So we're gonna go ahead and insert it. Make sure that goes all the way in. You can replace the cover there. So now that we have our whole circuit on here, all we have to do is replace this positive battery terminal cover we removed. It's got a few fins on here, so just be careful that as you're putting it on, it's sliding back into position properly. You may have to pull this end just to cover that wire. But now we're in place. Positive battery terminal is nice and safe and covered. Our fuse holder is down here out of the way where it's perfectly safe and our wires running all the way back to our circuit on the taillights. 
So we can go take a look at what that looks like in the back and what it looks like for accessing your wiring when it's ready for towing. We've got our passenger side panel reconnected. We're going to go and do the same on the driver's side over here. Just being careful to make sure all these clips go right back into place. And I'm going to work the door seal a little bit as I'm popping these in. It's easier to mess with the door seal as you're putting it back in than to go back and do it after the entire panel's back in place. Perfect. And now we're going to put this piece back in here. This one's very easy. We just have the clips along the top here and it just pops back into place. We're going to double check and make sure that our wire is nice along the edge here. We put it through the zip tie so that it's keeping it up close against the wall and it's not going to get stuck anywhere. And now that that's back in place, I'll show you where your four flat's gonna live. Just gonna live in this compartment in here. We're gonna put the roadside kit back in. We may find a nice little compartment in there for this to live in. So as I'm reinserting this foam piece here, we've noticed we have a little cutout. So that's where I'm gonna keep our four flat for right now. And it will be able to pull up along this edge, but I think it looks a lot nicer to keep the end of it right here so that when we're ready, we can just pull it right out and we're ready for towing. Let's put the last floor panel in and then we'll be all done. So we're just reinstalling these little brackets here. And then all we have is the rubber cover and we're all complete. And the rubber cover here is the last piece that we need to replace. And now I'll show you how to access your floor flat when you're ready for towing. You'll just lift this up. This panel lifts up as well. Our four flat is sitting nice and pretty right here. If you need a little more length than this, we do have a small gap along our foam panel here and you can pull more length out of that. We'll leave it here coming out of the door seal and all you have to do is close the door and you're ready. When you're all done towing, you can just open the hatch you can see the door seal didn't damage the wire at all. It's perfectly fine to close it in there and it's designed to handle that. You'll lift up your rubber cover and the floor panel here and tuck it away nice and tidy. And you're all done. Thank you so much for watching this video. My name is Marina. We just finished installing this trailer wiring kit on this Honda HRV. And I hope you have fun, be safe, and enjoy the outdoors. Thank you. To learn more about the product seen in this video, or to schedule an installation by U-Haul Hitch Professional, visit us online today at uhaulhitches.com.